are a fan of 90s video games, you appreciate the Sonic Boom reference, the Street Fighter reference Absolutely of Keith Jeffrey. Correct. He plays the part tremendously. I love it. Comes out with the Rocky music. All things considered, this is going to be a great fight, Scott. We're going to see again, grappler, striker, contrast in styles. Let's see who gets going early on. Great late kicks to open yeah, it up. He opened up inside, Jeffrey. outside by Jeffrey. And there's the jab by Deakman. Deakman, wow, Holly looks like he's the one yeah. that wanted to, to engage in the, the clinch first. Maybe give Jeffrey something short he's knee. not expecting. Yep, short knee. We'll see if there are any adjustments in Jeffrey's stand-up game after the fight against Chip Pollard. Another inside leg kick. And certainly Jeffrey was on the short end of the stick in terms of striking, but his takedown's really what was. Yeah, without a doubt. The, and you can see both guys are yeah. willing to exchange right here. Holly's, here's another inside leg kick. Holly's already thrown a leg kick of his own. There it is again. Jeffrey catches he it. Catches it, hits with a straight right, and goes yeah. right down into, into the guard position. Great he's already, by Keith Jeffrey. Yeah, he's already starting to pass the half. And oh, he's threw it up. Holly threw up a triangle. He's a bit long on it. He has his ankles crossed. Keith squirms out of it. Now Holly's gonna look to switch to an armbar if he can do it. It's not there. The armbar is not there. His hands in the wrong place. But he does have a shoulder lock if he can just oh, like figure for his legs right here. Now he's stretching it. Now he's away. Keith passed very well. Keith's in half. Holly's got a hand inside, creating some space. Well. Bigman did say he worked a little bit more in his wrestling in advance of this fight after what happened against Brennan Ward. And you yeah, see that triangle sure. attempt there. So maybe something he picked up along the way between fights. On the ground, top position, Keith Jeffries is a phenomenal grappler. I agree. You know, and he's great for MMA. Keith's looking right here to maybe a maybe stand guillotine. A, a standing guillotine. He just doesn't have it there. When you're pressed against the cage, you have a hard time finishing because you need to drive your hips forward. And Holly's working elbows and short punches to that front quad, to that left leg, just to make him change it. Now, Keith's let that go. He has an under and an over right now. Back against the wall. Holly's going to try to get his hands together and either attack a single or a double. Looks like he's attacking the single off the right leg. Good knees. Another good knee from Holly. And a third. Really trying to soften up those legs. Yeah, absolutely. He's really just, he's not it adds standing up. idly still. No, it absolutely <laughs> adds up. And when you start to feel that, you want to change your positioning. That's what Holly wants him to do. Now he's stood up. He has good hand control. He has good wrist control, Holly does. And Keith's looking to get himself off that cage. Holly's looking for the trip. He's got a single. And Keith fought it up very well. He got an underhook and pulled his arm off. Both men hitting with shot, dirty, dirty boxing punches right now. You weren't kidding about Jeffrey being a big 180. Scott. He's crazy. It's just awesome. Good exchange. Good leather being thrown right there. One fifty-three to go in round number one. Allen does a good job of keeping his hands tight for his defense. Inside leg kick followed by a jab that fell short. Jeffrey sort of picking his spot with that jab. Without a doubt. Utilizing some of the coaching of David Keith, former trainer for Demetrius Andre, yeah. Olympian from Providence, Rhode Island, one of the top ranked middleweights in the world. In the world yeah. Inside leg kick by Jeffries. And Holly throws an overhand right, right into the clinch. It looks like Holly's working. Him. Now he drops down. He had tied plumb for a second. He's dropping down for a single. High crotch is what he's looking for. And keeps trying to fight that off. Nice underhook. Yeah. Keith reaches a little deeper and pulls up. He should be able to break that grip. And Keith Jeffrey never panics when his back against the cage. I've never seen Keith panic ever. That's a good or, point. Or Holly. And Holly was in a brutal fight. That first round right. was a vicious pace against Brett Ward. Short left hand by Holly, answered by Keith. Nice left hook on the break by Holly. Two good lefts by Harley Beekman. Straight jab. We'll see if Beekman tries to take a page out of Chip Pollard's playbook, because Pollard really had to control parts of that fight with his striking and his stand-up game. With a sharp, long jab. Yeah. It, 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 seems, it seems like Holly wants to do that, but he's not as committed as Chip was. I agree. 
Wow, nice fake there with a Superman, and he came in with the left hook. Again, to press him against the cage, and Keith doing a great job of sprawling out against the cage to prevent the takedown. Again, he has another underhook, and that's the round. All right, great opening round in this main event. Harley Bigman, Keith Jeffrey, more to come from Proving Grounds. Well, so far, as expected, Keith Jeffrey showing tremendous veteran poise, as he always does, and Harley Beekman thus far bouncing back nicely from the beating he took against Brennan Ward in April, not as lopsided in opening round. This one actually kind of tough to score, Scott. Yeah, you know, you're really going to have to come with who do you think imposed their will in that round. I think Holly's stand-up was a little crisper than Keith's, although there were some great exchanges. But you take that into the fact that Keith fought off virtually every takedown. Pretty much an even round right there. Tough one to score. All right, we're ready for round number two of this co-main event. Keith Jeffrey, Harley Beekman, Keith Jeffrey. Nice and the camouflage one, trunks, Beekman in the blue and black. You can see Keith's a little more active now with his hands, a one-two inside leg kick and a jab. Straight right hand over the top and a second straight right hand. They go to the clinch again. And Holly's throwing some great knees. Beekman's done a nice, or rather, yeah, Beekman's done a nice job pressing Jeffrey into the cage, but Jeffrey just shows tremendous poise when he has his back against the wall, literally and figuratively. As Absolutely, yeah. it's no place he hasn't been before. And you see how relaxed both men are right now. And Jeffrey looks real relaxed in the stand-up game, more so than I saw him against Pollard. The more you do it, the better you feel. Yeah. And now, oh, good stiff jab by Holly. I'm not sure what the breakup was with that. Might Scott. have been an inside leg kick as he got jabbed, which okay. might have come up a little short. Might Jeffrey, have caught him with a great Jeffrey outside leg. Good over great hands. job. Holly's got him up high now. Keith, Keith just locked up a guillotine on the way down. I don't know how deep it is. It looks like it's pretty deep. It looks deep, Scott. He's really squeezing on it. Keith's rolling him over. This could be it. Nice job of Holly coming off the fence. Keith can burn his arms out if he doesn't hit this right. Keith's going to try to roll him in. over again. Looks like that's a tap. That's it. That's it. Keith got it. It's all over. Keith Jeffrey, Sonic Boom, choking out Harley Beekman midway through round number two. Great takedown defense. Brought the guillotine on the way down. And another yes, tremendous you, win. Just like you said, as you saw him up in the air, he immediately jumped onto the guillotine off the takedown. Fantastic job to ride it down, and he was able to sink it in deep and keep it there. That's an amazing win for Keith. I think one of the keys, Scott, too, he was too close to the cage to get the takedown. He needed to bounce off the cage for right. the takedown. You're 100% right. But once Keats felt himself go up, what do you have to do when you're going to slam somebody? You have to raise your head up. And the second he raised his head up, Keith locked in that guillotine and finished. Well, Scott, we're going to see how it all yes. went down in this main event as Keith Jeffrey gets congratulated by his brother Pete. You see that guillotine. This is the finish where Keith really yeah. works his hips. He's got a good twist. You can see how deep. His, his left hand was across his neck. And right see. here, he locks his, he'll lock it up, and he's pushing off the cage. Yeah. That's how he's getting that extra drive of his hips in. You see the frustration on the part of Holly Beekman. Thought he had a great take Got caught. There. Right, and he just got caught. Wrong place at the wrong time. Well, let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's main event ends at one minute, 25 seconds of round number two. Your winner by a guillotine choke tap out, Keith. Sonic Boom Jeffrey!